Okay, folks. Uh, just to let you know what's going on. We uh, cracked our glass tube cylinder and uh, tried to repair it with uh, silicone, but I don't trust that. So what we did in uh, is we went to uh, Walmart and bought this sucker right here. 20 bucks. It's uh, roughly seven inches in diameter inside, a lot bigger, so we're gonna have more working room. Eventually, I'm gonna try to cut it, but uh, for now, I think I'll just use it upside down. And in doing that, uh, what happened is I had to order uh, larger pieces of plywood for the bottom and uh, top. So while I'm waiting for that to come in, I'm working on the uh, disc for the turbine itself. Now I'm going to be using a uh, four inch uh, plastic pipe, uh, PVC, and I'm cutting the discs to fit in here. And I've got right at or just less than a sixteenth of an inch clearance in there, which gives me a thirty seconds of an inch all the way around, which would be really good. And uh, I'm using the method. Now I tried a drill bit in a, in a drill, a drill press. I tried a lay, uh, lay uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what do you call that dead gone thing? A uh, router and router bit, and that was too slow and it was burning and so forth. So, for, so I'm using Dan Rojas of uh, Green Power Science. I'm using his method of cutting circles on a table saw, working fantastic. I mean, it is unreal how well it is working. Uh, in fact, I'll do a little bit of a cut now just in case some of you haven't actually seen his video on doing this. Uh, what you do is the, the circle itself that you cut out comes out really perfect, square cut. However, the outside of the circle is uh, beveled quite a bit, but uh, the outside is not what we're worried about. We're worried about the inner, inner circle. So uh, let me cut a little bit of this just so you'll see it, and I'm not going to cut it all because I don't want to bore anybody again. Uh, let's see if there's anything I'm missing. I think that's just about it. Uh, I've got 20 some of these squares cut out. And, oh, by the way, last night I was practicing and my wife walked in. I wasn't paying attention to what to do and brushed my knuckle against the saw blade, just barely. I could have lost my whole finger, so I made this guard, this guide up here, and uh, that way I don't get my fingers in, in the way as long as I keep them above the uh, plate itself. And uh, it just forced me. I found two pieces of wood, one of them just, just high enough that when I put a piece of plexiglass on top of it, the other plexiglass on this one just slides under it with, the, I mean, less than a 30 second of an inch clearance, but it's perfect. It keeps it from riding up and uh, works great. All right, let me crank this thing up and, and uh, let's just see what I'm doing. Hey, one more thing. Put the spoon in, you 
Thank you.